Wow, a hundred percent. Yes, I agree with that. Um, physically, mentally, emotionally, mm, I I noticed uh, obviously after the cleanses, I done one um one one cleanse and one forgive. I wasn't meant to do it right after the other one, but I ended up doing my own rainbow basically. I I wanted just to do the digestive and then see how I was feeling, but then my body was asking for it and I could feel I was bloated. I was uncomfortable. I was like, Oh, I needed another push. And then it was funny because I'm probably not a hundred percent in tune with my body, <laughs> but I could, I could, I could sense it. So I went ahead and do, did the uh, forgive. And after a couple of days, Oh my gosh, my, my mental clarity was amazing. Uh, I was, it was so easy to be present and I was struggling. I've been struggling for the last, I don't know, two years of being present and being really conscious of what I was doing and where I was. And, and then it was like, it's not a struggle. I was even fighting with myself. Like well, you're not present, but well, you're not present, but you're thinking you're present, but you're not present. And I was like, what? <laughs> this is too complicated. I cannot be present. And, and after the cleanses, I was like, Oh, that was easy. It's actually so much simpler to be present than I thought. Really easy. But I, I had like a cloud. So I, it didn't even let me be present. So it was very magical. <laughs> and then um, and that, that with the emotional part as well, because on the mental level, I could feel that I was still stuck in a way with my emotions and my thoughts. It was like automatic. So I had a, a like a pattern of a negative thinking and it will right away be automatically connected to my emotion. So I will feel the emotion right away. I was like, oh, that was strong. And it was just connecting to a thought right there. And after the cleanses, what I noticed is that I have a space between the thought and the emotion. So I can even follow the thought or say, no, forget it, not today. But before, that wasn't even there. Like the space was, it was one. It was together. Like the link was just one. And so now I, I feel that I can choose whether to follow it or not. And that was major for me because I was feeling so many things <laughs> at the same time when uh, a thought came. And... um and whoa, that's been a relief because <laughs> now I get to choose, you know? You're done. Exactly. Well, yes. Uh, I think we once, the thing is that nobody really told us that we needed to clean from the inside too. So it's like you take a shower and you clean yourself and you look pretty or your shampoo, whatever, lotion. But nobody ever even tell you, hey, you need to clean inside as well. So once you find out that you're actually toxic inside, then it's like, okay, great. Now I know. Now what's next? And so you're trying to look for uh, answers, but there's really not much. So you start like a rabbit hole and never ending thing. And you sometimes do some things and you're messing up even more. You know, it's like, it, it wasn't that route. It was too strong or it was too, you know, like you you, you can tell because you're not feeling it. Mm, and so what I did, I believe is starting like everybody else, like heavy metal detox and trying some uh, different protocols. And I, I did a couple of fasting, but not like two days. I mean, I, I wouldn't even count it as a fasting thing. And um, I just was here and there, you know, I tried many things and yeah, somehow I got better, a lot better from where I was. I, I had a major crisis, like um, anxiety crisis, like over two years ago. And, and I knew I didn't want to take any kind of med and, and I had to experience it <laughs> in another way. So I went like the wrong, long road, but it was very exper <laughs> experimental. And also I learned so much out of this. So 
I went the natural way, <laughs> but it took me way too long. And yes, I did got better, a lot better. I mean, I, I wasn't even able to drive before, like from here to my, my kid's college, or I wasn't even able to, to speak to somebody without wanting to run away. I was like really, really in a deep <laughs> crisis. So I got, it got my, I got it better with all these protocols and stuff. I mean, I've, I've tried so many things, <laughs> but I, I got stuck in a way. I was not moving too far up or too far down. I was just in the middle and just up and down, up and down, like, like that. And so that's where I found Zen Cleanse. And it really took me out of this stuckness, you know? So yes, I think it's completely different because it really, it's proven. It's not that you're trying here and there and somewhere that you read somewhere else and then you print out a protocol or you hear from somebody and you're trying because you're trying to really clean yourself. That's the, the, the goal, like you're aiming for that, but you don't know how to. And this was so easy. It, it's just, it's like a manual, like, okay, step one, step two. And it's like, whoa. But I also understand that it came to me in the perfect timing because if, if it would have been two years ago, I would even be nervous of even trying it, you know? So it was, it was the best timing for me because I also, on, on this path that I took to learning, I, I, I resonated so much with the cleanse right away because of, of everything that I have gone through already. Completely. It's funny because I, I, I have been listening to many, um, well, many people who have said, uh, just feel safe in your body. Feel safe in your body. It's like, ah, just, I feel safe in my body. I was like, what do, they, what do they mean by that? Of course I feel safe in my body. Like, that's why I'm here. I'm, I'm feeling safe. I didn't even understand the concept of feeling safe in your body because I thought I was feeling safe. Until that day, right after, like probably two, three days after the cleanse, I went for a run. And after the, the I, I guess also the run helped. <laughs> but I was like, wow, what is this? Even my posture was different. I was like, very, but not, not even intending to be, you know, straight. It was like so natural. And I could, until that day, I could understand what they meant by feeling safe in, my, in your body. Because I've never felt safe in my body ever in my lifetime. And for the first time, I was like, whoa, I understand what they mean. This is what it feels to be safe in your body. And now I, I, could, I could embrace it. You know, it's like, it was amazing. So after that, I couldn't stop crying. And crying. I was like, what is this? This is, this is just too much. Even the flowers look different. It was, it was super in, like, unbelievable. And obviously it didn't last the entire day or anything. It was just a couple of minutes. But at the end, I could sense that it was possible. It, it took getting to this state that I, I never even thought it was available. So yeah, that was amazing. And, and <laughs> It's just, I don't want to crave it and ha wanted to have that uh, moment again, but um, it was, <laughs> I, I know it was because of the cleansing. Hmm. Physically, well, I have a weird habit to <laughs> look at my tongue <laughs> a lot. Like, <laughs> and so I could notice that even the color of my tongue was different. It was more pink. It wasn't uh, like pale or anything. And the stress, like the marks that I had, had diminished. I know I have still a long run, but I, I noticed right away that. And, and, and a lot of uh, sensations, like I, I could tell my, my feet sometimes are buzzing or, or, or another area of my body. And, and what I put in, in, in my belief, well, what I believe in is that it's, it's, helping me my body is really helping me instead of working against me you know it's always working for me not against me so it's 
it's really, really cool to have this tool that it's part of nature. So you're not really, well, that's what I experienced. I'm not really putting my trust in the enzymes per se, but in nature, because they came from there and work all that same nature. So it's like, I don't, I, I don't know exactly how they are produced or, or how they really work in the lab or I don't know. But I know they come from, from natural sources. So if I trust in that and I trust in my body, then we're perfect. <laughs> this is just that uh, we, we, we need to unlearn so many things, <laughs> you know, because um, the things that you can tell so many people about what you have gone through or look I, trust me I, I this is what happens that, that, but until they don't experience it it's like you're talking to like myself for example I don't know what being feel, what do they mean by feeling safe yeah because you have no clue because you've never felt safe so it's, it's it's hard even to don't try to explain to somebody who hasn't even experienced it but it's it's I, I think it's part of the process. Everybody has to experience some kind of, I don't know, <laughs> and pain to recover and then feel better and, and look for themselves for answers and then find a beautiful tool <laughs> like this one. Wonderful. <laughs> yeah, as you were mentioning, like nobody even taught us to, to trust in ourselves. And that's like the main issue. You trust in somebody else in some physician who has a title or in a, I don't know, in a company or something else. But we really don't trust in, in our own ability to heal. So, because it's completely, like nobody has ever heard that we can heal ourselves. <laughs> like this is like, this isn't even possible. So, so once you, you strip, is that a word? <laughs> switch into that realization that you can actually trust more in yourself than any other thing outside of you. Like, whoa, this is a game changer because now everything that comes your way is going to be beneficial because you know you are doing something purposely for a goodwill for yourself or for others. I don't know. So, you know, yeah, I understand what you're saying, especially about the, the trust in oneself of our healing mechanism. And yeah, it, it was hard for me to finally get it because <laughs> I, I, I really had to experience it. A better world. Well, I think that the first thing is just working on myself because if I don't work on myself, then I, I cannot show up for the, the rest of the world. Um, like more center and... and like with more compassion um so because i've noticed that if i if i'm doing something to myself i'm judging a, a lot of myself i'm judging also others or the opposite i'm judging others and i'm judging myself so i've been i've been working a lot on that like oh well, well, having a, a clear estimate <laughs> and then um through that i can i can just radiate that to the world but Mm, for this <laughs> in another way is also sharing sharing what I've been experiencing and if people will ask me because I, I I don't I don't like to just tell people hey come do this and do that it's like I've been through this if you want you can try but because I've noticed that I if when you push it's <laughs> and the people are not ready then they just you know like go to the other side <laughs> so uh, I'd rather not um what else do I do to I don't know, you know? Mm -mm. I've not very clear what I what I've done or what I've been doing. <laughs> but I, I just think working on myself is the main thing. Absolutely. Well, the, the last one that I did, it was kind of a rainbow. I did uh, the, the digestive and I, I never thought I was going to do the other one right away. But then I've been living in the same house for over five years. And, 
and I've never had a problem with a flush. But that day, my 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 toilet wasn't flushing. I was like, flush? It's not flush. Flush. Oh my god! Is this, does this mean that I need to do the leave a flush? Okay, I'll order it. And it it was just like that. And so I ordered it, and it it arrived even before that I was expecting. So I just kept on like the same week. Even so, I did a Friday, and then by Wednesday, I had received the liver, the liver kit. So I did it throughout the weekend. So I kind of did my own rainbow. <laughs> so yes, I'm trying to do it every once a month, and keep uh, my enzyme, like liquid enzymes, intake, because I've noticed that too. That when, well, since I started like last month, I have not never stopped the enzyme liquid. And and I could sense after the cleanses that my when my body needed a push, I would just do a quick water enema, and I could see all the toxins coming out. And I was like, "What? I'm not even in in a regular detox program like in the kit. I'm just doing the liquid enzymes intake, just like that." And and it's been almost two weeks. That I've been doing every day, like a morning enema, and I will see uh, toxins out. I was like, "Whoa!" So it's it's really powerful. Not only the kid, but the liquid by themselves, because I I I mean, <laughs> I've seen it. <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah. It keeps excitement. It's not like before. I remember when I I was gonna do the first one because it's it's unknown. You're like. A bit nervous, but anxious, but I, I want to do it. But and then once you went through the first one, it's like okay, bring me another one, please. And mm -hmm. so you get excitement out of the even the box when you get the box. It's like whoa, this is so beautiful. I want to just open it and and do my details right away. So yeah, it is very exciting. And um, not only looking for the after, but doing because I. One of the things that I also learned through the through the Telegram chat, which is unbelievably good, like it's a great support, and everybody that's that writes something, I learn from from them a lot. And so one is like being okay with not being okay. And I was like, whoa, okay, I'm feeling this, and I'm not fighting it. It's like okay, I feel okay, but not feeling okay. And that was also a major change because it, it let me stop fighting with myself because I was fighting of not being okay. You know better. You should do this. You, should not, you shouldn't feel this. You shouldn't think that. You shouldn't. Oh, my gosh. Like, okay, I'm feeling that. I'm okay by not being okay. <laughs> so many, many beautiful thoughts even in the chat. So very, very grateful for that too. Yay. yes that's exactly what we're doing right now but I was like I, I want to do it but I, I'm still nervous and afraid you know it's like but if somehow whatever you're you're saying or whatever your testimony is it's going to help somebody else okay don't mind the, the feeling don't mind the, the nervousness just do it because if somebody's going to something even tiny similar to you and you can help them by just listening that, oh, that resonates. Yeah, I felt the same way. Like, whew, it's gonna help them in a way. Because before even um, jumping into the detox, I will. I read the entire website. I I don't know how many videos I watched. And I was like, well, this is something I, need, I must try. But I, I could tell by the testimonies that it was something that I was going to be very beneficial from. So thanks to that, my mindset was also ready to even feel, to, to let go, to, to trust in the process. Mm -hmm. But after, after the, the, the videos, after the research, after all the lecture, after printing out all the manuals and all those, those things, I was like, okay.